closer than the whole family, faculty, staff, administration. This is Dr. Robinson, superintendent of schools. I would just like to take a few minutes to explain to you, actually to inform you of our plan to engage in COVID testing. As you know, the New York State Health Department has um, passed several mandates, if you will, that essentially dictate that if the school district or the community falls into a yellow, orange, or red zone, we will need to test a certain portion of our student and staff population. Right now in Saratoga County, the rate of infection is um, nearing 5%. And so we are really concerned that we will have to engage in testing. Consequently, we are in the process right now of putting together a very comprehensive testing plan. You will be receiving an email and or an SIS message with a frequently asked questions to address the many questions I'm sure that you will have. You will also receive an email asking for your consent, the consent for parents to have their child tested via a rapid test that's been approved by the New York State Health Department, and also consent for our faculty and staff to also be tested. We will likely need to test 20% of our population. And so for Shenandoah, that's about 2,000, maybe 2,300 individuals. That's a lot of testing. However, we have the capacity to do so. We're working very closely right now with the Saratoga Public Health Department. We're working cl very closely with our nurses here at Shenandoah, which is a great group of individuals. And so we're putting together a very comprehensive plan to ensure that we can execute the testing regimen with fidelity. We can execute in such a way that it gives us good information about where we are, our COVID status, so to speak, as a community. So I'm asking you to look out for the email for the consent. We need people to consent to, to be tested via the rapid test. I myself will be doing the rapid test. It's a quick test, a nasal swab, quick test, 15 minutes, we get the results. And so I ask you to look out for those pieces of information that will be coming in the coming days. And also I ask you to continue to exercise the due diligence that we all need to exercise, the wearing of our mask, the, the social distancing, the hygiene. The realities of COVID is one that makes us all have to pause and realize that we're in this thing together that we truly have to be our brothers and sisters keepers if we're gonna contain the spread of COVID within our Shenandoah community. So I thank you in advance for your efforts. And I thank you for consenting, for parents consenting to have their, child's, their children tested, for our staff members for consenting to do so. This is an important process and one that we all have to come together to make sure that it's done in the way that we do things here at Shenandoah with a true commitment to excellence. Again, thank you very much. And I also wanna wish you a happy holidays. Recognize these are the holiday seasons. So we have a lot to be thankful for and we have a lot to celebrate. So thank you and I look forward to, to, to the coming year. We hope that 2021 will be much better than 2020. Thank you very much.